Hi guys, happy Monday. We're doing a little week in my life. I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along with me. I haven't done a week in my life in a really long time, actually. I actually used to do like daily vlogs, weekend vlogs, stuff like that all the time, but then I kind of slowed down because I'm home all the time. I'm reading because that's like my happy place, to be completely honest, but I thought it'd be really fun to take you guys along with me for the week. I feel like it's gonna hold me more accountable for doing the things that I need to do and get done. So I'm kind of using this as like getting my life together type of vlog because there's so many things that I've just been putting off for the past few months. I don't know what it is, but this year I haven't like been on my A-game on putting cuticle oil on my nails. I've been obsessed. This is by Olive and June. It's like a cuticle serum. But it's been making my fingers so soft because usually they're super dry, but kind of using this as a way to hold myself accountable because I just have so many things that I've been putting off for literally the past few months that I just need to get done and I've also been in like the worst and I literally mean the worst routine ever. My sleep schedule is all wonky. I haven't been to the gym in a really long time but that's partially because of Chris too because the last week and a half he's been like out on injury but regardless I haven't been to the gym like in a super long time. Like I didn't go most of February and we're already halfway through March so Definitely need to get back to that because I like genuinely enjoy going to the gym and like getting my body moving and stuff like that, especially in this weather. It's been so cold out. I want to just get back into like having a healthier routine because I know in the long run that will just make me feel better in general. So yeah, we also have just like a bunch of like home resetting that I want to do. There's some decorating I want to do. I have lots of filming and YouTube stuff I want to do this week. We have hockey games this weekend, but basically I'm taking you guys along with me for the week, giving you guys an insight into my life and what I do on the daily because a lot of people think that I just sit around and read which I do and I don't mind that one bit but there are other things that I actually have to get done like I can't hide in my books this week I've been drinking the mimosa Alani's lately and they're low-key fire I'm actually in shock at how much I like them because I'm not like a big mimosa girly so today is Monday March 18th I have a sit down video I want to get filmed I want to start a really fun reading vlog that's actually gonna include Chris I have to get through laundry because I've been putting off laundry like for days now I hate doing laundry but I just have to push myself to do it I gotta make a grocery list and and maybe grocery shop today either today or tomorrow we're gonna go grocery shopping because we're super low and then i do really really want to try and go to the gym tonight chris got hurt in hockey so he's been out on injury for like a week week and a half now and he's finally getting better so we're gonna try and go to the gym tonight maybe work on like upper body stuff i'll probably do a little cardio because i love doing cardio but first things first we're actually gonna start the day with some really cute planning i just got these in the mail yesterday they're from the brand not koi i actually saw this brand come up on my Instagram and on TikTok and I was like, you know, I need a new planner. I haven't been doing like my daily planning and I feel like that's a huge reason why I haven't been in a good routine because I'm definitely like a planning girly. I have to write everything down. I write to-do lists, stuff like that and I haven't been doing that this year and it's definitely showing to be completely honest. So I wanted to get a new planner and they have so many different ones but this one is just so cute. It gives super cozy vibes. So there's like daily planning pages but then there's also weekly ones that I really like so I can plan out my whole week and also kind of keep track of stuff I also picked up their gratitude journal I've never had one of these before but I've seen so many people rave about them and say that starting their day with gratitude just has such a positive impact on them I really wanted to try it out so I just decided to pick this one up and I think it's absolutely adorable everything about their stuff is just like super cutesy and aesthetic every morning and then every evening I'm supposed to jot down down, like things that I'm grateful for and things that happen in my day. We're gonna start the day off with the gratitude journal. I'm going to probably plan out my day. I don't think I'm gonna plan out the week because this week is kind of up in the air with things that we have to do and get done, but I'm definitely gonna do a daily one. I have to change for the day and get ready to film my sit down video. I'm doing books to get you back into reading video, which I'm super excited about because I'm also just gonna be talking about like some of my favorite, favorite books and authors and series. So hopefully that is up. I have to cut my stick. <laughs> I have practice. Are you serious? <laughs> so obviously Chris is feeling a lot better because he's cutting his new hockey stick to go to practice, but we're gonna jump into this first. Thank you. 
just changed for the day and feeling a lot better. This is the outfit of the day. I'm wearing this new sweater I got yesterday. I think this is from Francesca's. My jeans are from Primark and then I'm just wearing my little Ugg platform slippers. Jewelry wise, I'm wearing my K necklace that I actually got from Disney. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a little Mickey on there. I'm wearing these cute little bow earrings. These are also from Francesca's, I think. It's actually really, really cold out. I guess it's been snowing like all morning, which is kind of concerning. I'm actually gonna run it down to the mailroom really quick. I had a super fun delivery. Osiris is just chilling per usual. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go check out my last reading vlog. He actually picked my books for a week and it was absolutely adorable. <laughs> I finished filming, finally. I was, I don't even know what I'm saying because I was talking for so long. Guys, I'm such a talker. In my book rec videos, I think that's why I don't do them often because I will sit there for three hours talking to you about books. That took so much longer than I anticipated, but we did it. I haven't filmed one in so long because I usually talk so much and I <laughs> kind of avoid them because I don't want to bore you guys. But it's also like a super requested video. So I wanted to make it, obviously. Since I have a minute though to like breathe and relax, I want to show you guys the books I got. Got some book mail. I'm going to share with you guys. I'm super excited. And then I do have one new book I picked up the other day. But I received my special edition of Bride by Allie Hazelwood. This book came out like a month ago, I think. And I haven't been able to read it yet because I was waiting on the special edition to come. But this is from Afterlight. These edges are absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed. And then there's also artwork on the inside pages, which is super cool. Then it turns out that Owl Crate's adult fantasy book for February, I think was also Bride by Allie Hazelwood and I was super excited about it. I don't know how I feel about this cover, guys. I'm just like not crazy about it. I think I just really like the whole dark aesthetic of this one. So getting this, I was just... I don't know, I'm a little disappointed. I'm also like not that crazy about the inside artwork. I'm pretty surprised because usually Owl Crate always hits the spot. Like they usually do such a good job, but I don't know, this one's just a little disappointing. I'm definitely happy that I got this when I did. So we got Hallie Hazelwood's newest book. The other day, Chris and I went to Barnes and I ended up picking up this book called Night Shift by Annie Crown. I think this is like brand new. It just came out, but it's just like a cutie little rom-com romance. It's about a college bookworm who is always in the library and a basketball star and how they have an interesting encounter in the library so it sounds really cute and i've kind of been getting back in to little rom-com so thought we'd try this out then i received this in a pr box it's called the veiled kingdom by holly renee this looks and sounds so good but it kind of gives off powerless vibes by lauren roberts but something i do really like about this is there are like little pictures scattered throughout this which i think is really cool i love when books have like illustrations in them because it just kind of gives you a better idea of what the characters look like and then i just received this one as well it's called rule number one you can't date the coach's daughter by Anne marie mayer this is like a cutie ya football romance and then she also sent me her holiday one which is second Second chance mistletoe kisses. I also got like all these really cute stickers with it. I think I'm gonna re-decorate my Kindle. I actually have stickers that I'm waiting on to come in the mail, but for the time being, I might throw some of these in because these are really cute. I also got my YA Owl Crate for the month of March. It's the last blood cover by Vanessa Lay. This is absolutely stunning. I think they totally nailed this. Everything about this, these edges are beautiful, which is why I'm so disappointed with Bride. Like they really didn't do anything special with it. And then the inside pages are stunning. I love the foiling. I'm really excited about this because it sounds really good. Yeah. <laughs> 
just got home. Originally, we weren't gonna go grocery shopping tonight, but then I just decided last minute that we should run to Tops before the gym because I noticed that we were literally out of like everything. Like we didn't have milk or cereal, veggies, fruit, like literally nothing. So we ran to the grocery store really quick. We went to the gym, did an hour and a half, almost two hour workout. I am quickly gonna start putting the groceries away and then we're gonna make a quick, easy little dinner. This is my stack of Hello Fresh recipes. I'm going to attempt to find one of my favorite chicken ones. Crispy chicken, cayenne chicken. This is so good. It's almost like having buffalo chicken, which I really like because I like spice. What I should do is get a binder and organize all of these recipes because it would save me so much time. Oh, this one's so good too. The crispy Parmesan chicken. This is the same one just with broccoli. Okay, so I think we're gonna do the cayenne chicken cutlet and I'm gonna make some broccoli with it and some potatoes. Oh my gosh, wait. Look how stinking cute this little dude is. It's literally a mini potato and it says positive potato. I may be a tiny potato, but I believe in you. Go do your thing. And he's just chilling next door TV. Anyways, I'm gonna put the groceries away. We're gonna start cooking dinner. I feel so much better after going to the gym, guys. I'm not even kidding. Like actually going back and getting my body moving again, just it felt good. And it's crazy because like a year and a half ago, I absolutely despised going to the gym. It was like my least favorite thing in the world. I hated exercise of all sorts because I just like never did it. And I started going with Chris and life changing. gratitude journal and I also planned out tomorrow just to make it a little bit easier on myself because I had like everything already in my head right now so I just wrote it down for tomorrow and I wrote in my gratitude journal for the evening question was the highlight of my day and then the main takeaway from today so love that finished that all up I think now I'm gonna start getting ready for bed and we're gonna do a little bit of reading and just kind of relaxing I'm trying to work on not being as hard on myself because I feel like when it comes to YouTube sometimes I like am way too hard on myself and I get too strict with myself and I don't want YouTube to like feel like that for me because it's like my hobby and I love making videos to work on having like more positive thoughts with everything but I'm gonna take off my makeup and kind of do my little skincare routine I used to do so much like skincare stuff before I went to bed but I actually changed up my routine about a month ago I want to say and it's made like like the biggest difference in my skin like i'm not even kidding all i do is take my makeup off with these wipes and then i go over my skin like once or twice with this stuff and then that's literally all i do i do use this eye mask by glow recipe it's like an avocado eye mask but other than that i like don't put anything like on my skin and i've noticed the biggest difference it's crazy i feel like less is more in the long run i still use like serums and toners but i only use them in the morning now and i feel like it's just made such a difference and then for the most part I use like all products from glow recipe because I've just found that that brand is like the best for my skin I used to always think that I had to do like a seven-step skincare routine every single night and my skin would be perfect and glowy and that just like wasn't the case for me I think when it comes to skincare and doing stuff like that you really have to take the time to experiment with different products and figure out like what works best for your skin type Anyways, I guess what I'm trying to say is take your time with finding products that you like. Don't be too hard on yourself when they don't work because everybody's different. Everyone has different skin types and things that work for them and things that don't. Something that has contributed to my skin and like my hair is also like the way I eat. Like I eat so much healthier now. And then I'm just going to go in with this, put it on like a little cotton pad. And then last but not least, I go in 
with this Lange lip mask. I swear by their products. Such a big difference. I'm also like really weird when it comes to like dry lips and chapstick, stuff like that. I actually put in a little hair oil and it's just because like my ends are always super dry. This just revives them. It just looks so much better. This is like another brand and product I absolutely swear by and has made such a difference when it comes to doing my hair. Tuesday everybody. It's like four o'clock. To be completely honest, I didn't get any sleep last night and I woke up this morning and just like kept going back to sleep. For some reason, I could not pull myself out of bed and I just decided that once I finally did pull myself out, I was gonna take like a mental health day because if I force myself to work and do stuff that I just like don't wanna do, like it's not gonna be the best. I'm not going to be putting out the best work that I know I'm capable of. So we're taking a little mental health day <laughs> Honestly, it's like so long overdue though. I haven't done a mental health day in a long time and usually I'm really good about it. I'm like such a big advocate for taking care of yourself, taking care of your mental health. And I guess sometimes I just forget to do that for myself and tell myself that. So that's what we're doing today. I just quickly changed into my little gym outfit because we're gonna head to the gym. We're gonna stop at Target and like one or two home stores because I decided that I'm going to push myself to do a few things around the apartment that I've just been putting off for the longest time since we moved in. I just, I've been in a weird rut and I haven't wanted to like decorate anything here. So we're gonna go to Target and grab like a few little things because I have like some cute ideas for here. I just have to like make a move on it. Hopefully if everything goes well and we find some cute stuff, we are gonna hang up some pictures and kind of clean up the bedroom because that's like, that's like the worst space in this apartment right now. That's like my main goal and main thing to tackle tonight. When you're having weird weird off days like this it's so important to take care of yourself take a step back and just breathe taking care of your mental health is so extremely important and that's why i'm so excited for better health to be sponsoring today's video I talk about them all the time on my channel i think they are an incredible platform that genuinely helps so many people if you've never heard of them before better help is the world's largest therapy service and it's a hundred percent offered online which i really really appreciate because instead of going to an unknown space a stranger's office you get help in the comfort of your own home and it just makes it such a better experience overall with better help you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists based on your needs preferences and location this gives you access to a much wider range of expertise than what may be available in your city it's super easy to get started too you'll fill out a questionnaire that will ask you about what challenges you're going through then better help will match you with a therapist that best fits you better help is always there for you you're able to message your therapist at any given time you can schedule live sessions i also think the convenience of better help is also amazing because everybody has lives we're all busy you can schedule these sessions with your therapist at any time and what best fits your schedule also vibing with your therapist is so important if you're not vibing with them you're not going to feel comfortable opening up to them if you don't feel like you guys are on the same page if you don't have the same beliefs you're able to switch therapists at any given time at no extra charge with better help you get the same professionalism and quality that you'd expect from in-office sessions with a therapist that's custom picked for you more scheduling flexibility and of course, more affordable pricing. Coming from someone who has really bad anxiety, BetterHelp has made such a big difference in my life. I pretty much swear by them and their platform. I think what they do is absolutely incredible. I cannot recommend them enough and you guys can actually get 10% off your first month if you go to betterhelp.com slash Alexa Ray. And then of course, I'll have it linked down below for you guys. With that being said, thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna run Osiris O-U-T. Do you wanna go outside? We're gonna go outside really quick, take a little walk around the block. It's actually snowing out. Let me show you this. This is our weather right now. You can't even see the water or anything. But I'm gonna take him OUT and then we're gonna head out to the gym and do a little shopping. Hopefully we can find some cute things for the apartment.
So it's been a hot minute since we last talked, but I wanted to give you a little update because I ended up getting so much done in the bedroom today. And I'm just like so excited about it because our bedroom literally has not felt like a bedroom since we moved in. We've been moved in for a little over three months now. So the fact that it's actually starting to feel cozy and cute again makes me so happy. So I finally was able to get the pictures hung up above the bed. I have brand new sheets in the wash right now, but this was like a huge deal for me because these are my favorite pictures. I ended up moving this mirror from this wall behind me. I ended up putting it on this wall just because I feel like it's just gonna look better, especially when I want to take like mirror pictures, stuff like that. Then over here, I finally did the cord management under the TV, which was another huge thing. It looked so ugly before with the cords just hanging everywhere. So I'm really happy I was able to finally get these on. I ended up decorating the top and then also at the bottom, we have Stanley's new little bed that we bought today at Home Goods. He absolutely loves it. And then I also got him these new new cat bowls in this really pretty green. This obviously isn't done because there's just like so much room on this wall. I feel like I can definitely put like a cute chair in that corner. But for the time being, this is like huge progress for me. Tomorrow, we're actually having maintenance come to take these, these really ugly curtains down because these were like put up by the last tenant that lived here and they are just not my vibe. Then on this wall, this is where the mirror used to be. I put up a cute little picture. Then I put a tiny bookshelf underneath it and I don't really have like a ton to put on it right now just because I have all my books in my office but I put my switch on here and I decided to put all the switch games down below and then I just picked this up today I was gonna put it in my office but I thought it looked really cute right there and then we have my current TBR so I am super happy with how everything is kind of turning out there's still like so much to do obviously I would like to get a rug in here and just figure out like a lot of the dead space but this is progress and it makes me really happy because like I said it was so empty and just not a vibe guys it was not a vibe I am going to clean up the mess that I made on the bed and I have to switch the laundry and get our sheets dried so I can make the bed I literally feel so much better now Happy Wednesday, everybody. I have been editing all day long. Wednesdays are usually like my mass editing days where I sit down all day long and I just try to get as much done as possible. We're actually about to head out because we're going to celebrate Chris's birthday with his family. His birthday was like two weeks ago, but with scheduling and stuff, it was just kind of hard to get together, but we finally figured out a day and a time. So we're about to head out, going to this cute little Irish pub that Chris loves. I've literally been struggling with my outfit for the past like 25 minutes because I didn't know what to wear wearing the same sweater that I wore yesterday I'm wearing it again because it's so cute and I didn't get to wear it out yet so thought why not wear it today these jeans are from Express and then I'm just wearing my high top platform converse and yeah we are about to head out when we get home i'll probably finish up editing and stuff like that because i have so much editing to do it's crazy oh and we finally have people coming friday to take these down i'm really excited about that <laughs> Happy Thursday. So I didn't like do too much filming today because on Thursdays we actually go and babysit Chris's little cousins. We pick them up from school, stuff like that. And then afterwards we went and got the car washed and we did the interior. And we basically do that like every single Thursday. And then I come home and I usually edit and hang out. Chris has hockey practice. He's actually there right now. And it's his like first practice back since getting hurt. And then he's coming home and then we're actually 
actually going to like one of his men's league games and then this weekend saturday and sunday is like his official return i guess to hockey because he's going to be playing in the two games makes me nervous because he was literally hurt for two weeks and it scared the heck out of me anyways so that's been my thursday so far it's kind of what we do every thursday after we watch the kids i've kind of just been hanging out filming tiktoks for a little bit i'm about to feed osiris dinner take him out stuff like that and then i think i'm just gonna sit down and edit until chris gets back because i'm probably gonna go to his men's league i feel like wednesdays and thursdays are usually weird days they're just like editing days but tomorrow we might be going to a comedy show which i'm really excited about we just found out last minute a comedian is playing at jay's that chris really really likes so i'm gonna try and get us tickets i'm excited for the weekend also on our way home though, I was on Instagram scrolling and I saw that Redeeming Six, which is book four in the Boys of Tom and series, just came out like two or three days ago. So I had Chris turn around and take me to Barnes because I needed this in my hands because the chokehold that this series has on me right now, unwell. I feel like this is gonna be one of my top series of 2024. Redeeming Six is book four and it's all about Shannon's older brother, Joey. And the first prints of them actually have ombre covers. And then the next book in the series is actually coming out either at the end of this month or in April. I I am so excited for that one because it's all about Gibsy and Claire and they have literally been my favorite since book one. I'm like obsessed with them. I'm gonna feed Osiris, get him all situated, and then we're gonna sit down, do some editing, relax, and then we're gonna go to hockey. And it's a super late game, so wish me luck. <gasps> oh boy. Almost just ripped my nail off. And if you are a fake nail girly like myself, you know the excruciating pain of nearly ripping your nail off. Ugh. I'm just like the clumsiest human on the face of the planet. Anything you can imagine a clumsy person doing, I have done it. I almost dropped his glass dish and my camera and my mind was like, oh my gosh, don't let the camera fall because if that breaks, if the camera breaks, your girl is gonna have a mental breakdown. But also my mindset because of my anxiety and just everything else in my life is if I drop the bowl and the bowl shatters, it's a bowl. I can literally use a different bowl. I can go buy another bowl. If the bowl breaks and shatters, I'm going to have a mental breakdown too. So I just wasn't ready for that. What? Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> I think he smells the dog food and he wants wet food. So I've been feeding him wet food more often than I usually do and he is gaining weight. Trying to keep him healthy and not overweight. So we're cutting down just a little bit. I know, I'm sorry. Happy Saturday, everybody. I don't think we talked yesterday. I think I just kind of let it be yesterday. We had maintenance come and they took down the banisters. So the bedroom is looking so much better. Thank goodness. And then the rest of the day, we kind of just hung out and then we ended up going to that comedy show I mentioned earlier in the video. And it was so much fun. I'm so happy we decided to go. Like totally last minute because Chris had gotten like an ad for one of his favorite comedians and he saw that he was playing like 
here. I'm so happy he saw it though because it ended up being so much fun. We also went out to eat, which was really nice. And we came home, did Legos, hung out for the rest of the night. And now we are here. Welcome to Saturday. I have to say I am like so proud of myself for actually attempting to pick up my camera every single day this week. It was a little hard some days, but I'm like actually really proud of myself. And we have made it to Saturday. So we have today and tomorrow that I'm going to be vlogging. I wanted to do a quick little haul for you guys because I got some book mail and I also got an Amazon package that has some like supplies in it for my books and then we actually are gonna head out because Chris has a hockey game tonight at 7 30. We have to be to the rink at 5 30 so I want to do a little haul for you guys. I recently subscribed to Probably Smut Book Club. I did in the past. If you guys have seen previous vlogs of mine probably heard me talk about them but I subscribed to them I think last year in the fall time and it's because they did special editions of Hannah Grease's Icebreaker and Wildfire and I absolutely love them so I signed up. I got in and they ended up unsubscribing just because I like wasn't like feeling it. I saw that they're coming out with some really cool special editions this year so I decided to re-sign up and I just got my first book from them. This is their February book pick I believe and then when you get your very first box they always send you a brand new reading journal which i think is so cute i actually love their reading journal but i decided this time around to actually sign up for like their top tier that comes with like a cute little t-shirt every month because i saw they were doing some really cute bookish t-shirts so i got this cutie little black tee that just has their little logo on it i got it in an extra large just so it's like a little bit of an oversized fit here is the cutie little book package i feel like the way they pack it is so cute every single time their little tags are absolutely absolutely adorable. I feel like the details and little things that go into their boxes is like amazing. First, they send cutie stickers every month, which I honestly love their stickers. They're probably like the best stickers I've ever gotten with books. They're just like a matte vinyl type of finish. You can put them on anything you want and also wash them. They're dishwasher safe. I just think the quality is like top tier. So they always send their little logo. We have a cute little cat that says, yes, I'm judging you. This sticker and the other ones I'm about to show you correlate with the book, I think. It's a hockey romance. So we have a hockey puck. This one says, the day I met you was the luckiest day of my life. And then we have a hockey jersey with the number 30 on it. With every book, they send you an annotation key. And with it, they send the annotation tabs that match up with it. And you have a key to follow throughout the book. And I love it so much. Got a little artwork piece with the book. I'm assuming these are our two main characters. Our book, it is Icebound by Meredith Trapp. This is Boundless Players Book 1. The sizzling, laugh out loud hockey romance full of spice, smooches, and sweet. I just love the little embroidery aspect to it. I think it's adorable. And then on the back it says, may all of your dreams be as wild as you. And then again, we're kind of keeping the embroidery vibe and I just love it. I think it is so stinking cute. I think this is adorable. I'm actually really excited about it. And then these are the book review pages that go inside the book journal. Book title, author, genre, date finished, overall rating. You even get to do a little spice rating, tropes, favorite quote, and then you write a mini review. And I just think this is super cute. Minimal Realistic. It's to the point. So that was my book mail. Next up, we have Amazon mail. I just ordered two little things. It's because I've been annotating so much in my books lately, and I kind of wanted to up my annotation game and make the annotations more cutesy. I ordered this 16 pack of gel pens. When I was looking around for them, looking at reviews, people said that these ones were like so good. If you look closely, there's kind of like a glitter to them, which is why I got them. And and then I picked up a new set of highlighters. There's just like a lot of pinks and nudes, which is why I really got it. But I also really like these greens over here. I don't have any like solid good green highlighters. I'm super excited to try these out as well because the ones that I've been using, they're literally on their way out. I'm actually gonna finish getting ready. I have to put on like a white fleece or something because they're doing a whiteout at tonight's game. And then we are going to head out. Can't feel my body, you're cold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me. Looks can be deceiving. Let you get the best of me. In bed with my worst enemy. This is a no-go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no-go. I just 